Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at the illegal vending taking place across from the university hospital. Now the government is spending billions of dollars to do construction over at the hospital. And one of the things they're going to do is build a new entrance gate. And this is why, because of this kind of illegal vending that's taking place at the gate of the hospital. The gate. This is the gate, the entrance to the hospital. You see, that taxi just stopped to drop off somebody. Happens all the time. Even if the light is green. You notice the taxi just went right through the red light. Now this is the entrance to the main hospital in the St. Andrew. And they just run the red lights. There's so much indiscipline out here. And the government can't really do anything about it. For years they've been talking about it. But there is an illegal settlement called Mona Commons across from the hospital. And these shops are all illegal. Sometimes they even, when it rains, they put drums or chairs or bricks out in the road to prevent people from splashing splashing the shop on the sidewalk. Also, the taxis just stop right there in the middle of the road. And when they must get goods delivered, the trucks just stop right there in the road. It's a serious problem. It then the government has discussed it, but we know why nothing. Nothing seems to have been done. So the solution now is to build a new entrance to the hospital because accident and emergency a &E, right as you go through the gate, it's right there. So this is, this is the entrance that the ambulances have to use. And when the road is blocked, it causes a problem and the ambulances cannot get in to the hospital in a timely manner. Unfortunately, it has happened before where ambulances have had to wait out there to get into the hospital and that can't happen. So they're going to be building a new gate. Now, I'm not sure where the new gate is going to be, but there you can see the shops. They've literally taken over the sidewalks too. And this has been going on for quite some time now. So the solution now is to build a new gate. See, that's another tax. Look, oh, this car is now making a U-turn in front of the gate. A U-turn. Well, I don't think it has really surprised anybody because there is a lot of indiscipline on the roads in Jamaica. And the government passed a law where you can issue tickets via the camera. But they haven't started to issue the tickets yet. I'm not sure what's going on with that. If anybody knows, you can leave a comment in the section below. But when you have this kind of indiscipline in front of a hospital gate, you know things are bad. They should have cameras out there. Better yet, have a police car stationed out there or a motorbike to at least patrol. The police station is actually walking distance from from this gate, there's a police station in Papine. And there you can see a taxi just stopped on the side of the road. There's another taxi just stopped on the side of the road. When you have this amount of traffic, we commuter vehicles like taxis, you have to have the police monitoring it. Have to. Now, this is a gate to enter the university campus. The hospital is the other gate. And then this is the university, the, the campus, the school now. This, so this is the gate for the school. There you can see the taxis parked up again. So this is a very busy road. And then the indiscipline just makes it worse. Alright guys, let us know what you think. Leave your comments in the section below. And for those who live outside of Jamaica. Do, do these kind of things happen at the hospital gate where you live? I mean, the entrance to the hospital. Let us know. Leave your comments in the section below.
All right, guys. Have a good day.